And welcome back to another edition of Trogley's Guitars. Today, we have my absolute favorite acoustic guitar model, a Gibson Dove. We'll take a look at the case here. It is not the original one, but it is a Gator case. So, it's solid. One, two, three, and four. Yep, just four latches on this one. And there she is. This is a gorgeous dove here. A natural finish. In fairly clean condition. We'll just take a uh, brief look here in the case. Now this is an acoustic electric model. Uh, it looks like the uh, case lid ribbon here is broken. But yes, it's the acoustic electric model. You do have the key in here if you want to lock the case. I took the battery out so it doesn't explode during shipping. It should still have enough charge, but you might need a new battery. I just thought I'd include it anyways. Yeah, this is a molded acoustic case. Perfectly good to use for your gigs. You're good to go on that. But the guitar now. As you can see from the uh, serial number here, it is a uh, 2007. And let's take a look here. Once again, it is a gorgeous dove. It looks really good with this background here as well. Clean condition. The only thing I would suggest on this guitar is maybe getting a professional setup done. Personally, I find the action just a little bit too high for my personal liking, but... You might like it better this way. I'm an electric guitar player. I'm not used to playing acoustics. So we'll take a look here at the headstock. Headstock's in good shape. No, no super scratches, nicks, or dings to really talk about here. Here is your fretboard here. Looks like a uh, dark rosewood. Very dark rosewood. Might need a Clean it up a little bit. Now there is no nibs, so I'm not sure if they did away with nibs or if this one's been refretted or something. I'm not 100% sure on that, but other ones I've seen didn't have nibs either, so maybe they just don't do that for acoustics anymore. I'm not super up to date on the acoustics anyways. Once again, you have the original pit guard here with the pearloid dove. No major nicks or dings to really point out here. Looks like maybe one right there. Overall, this one's been babied, I would say. Let's see in there. A Dove 2007, second in production for that day. Now the thing I love most about this guitar is being able to see that flame inside there. That's really, really cool. So you can see flame even though you're on the top. So if that tells you, we're in for a surprise on the back. It says, gorgeous flame back. And just look at that. That's impressive. Take a look at the headstock here. You have their serial number right there, as well as in the sound hole, made in the USA. Looks like a uh, three-piece neck here. Now you do have some flame in the neck as well. Let's see if we can catch it here. Gorgeous neck. Not sure if that's where that originally was or not, but there is a strap button there. Let's look at the back here. It's a dark tomato red. It's closer to this color. Pretty much exactly this color as it's showing. 
sometimes when the lighting gets a little bit extreme it looks kind of like a faded tomato color yeah as you can see just a gorgeous flame top on this one and you can see there's a light scratch right there but overall I mean, there might be a little tiny little bit of, you know, buckle scratches, but that's the main one right there. That's probably the biggest finish flaw. Looks like you have some right there as well on the uh, top horn. So right there and right here. Looks like you have some darker wood grain in there as well. Take a look at the sides here. The sides aren't heavily flamed, but there still is some flame in it. There's also a really cool water-like uh, wood grain. That is where you plug your input jack in. I'll take a look over here now. That's also in the wood grain right there. I know it looks like a marker, but it's not. Just a gorgeous dove. Very excellent condition here. We'll take a look at the action here. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely still playable. I actually uh, took the saddle and I filed it down a little bit. But... Definitely still playable. All the way up until about, you know, your ninth fret or so. Then it's a little bit high if you're trying to do chords. But this one will be priced, so you should be able to take it, get it professionally adjusted there. I mean, you might need to file the nut down a little bit as well. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not the best guitar tech in the world. But I can tell you there are no issues with the neck or anything. It just needs a proper setup if you like lower action. Well, thank you for checking out my video. You can always visit my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglis, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. That's where you can shoot me your best offer on this guitar, and we can answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching. Bye.